Yo, what's up everybody? What's up? Thanks for tuning in to the Fishing OC YouTube channel here, man. We appreciate you guys jumping on. We just passed 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 subscribers. I guess you guys call them subs. Um, I come from a different world where subs are something you eat, but whatevs. Subs, man. We got 2,000 subs, so awesome stuff. We are going out today with no fishing rods, all right? Today we are not fishing OC, we are check out goofs in OC. Um, it's the 4th of July, man. It is the 4th of July, it's a beautiful day. The marina is eerily full right now, but what we think is gonna happen is, as the afternoon moves on, we're gonna show you how crowded the Ocean City Bay can be on the 4th of July. It's probably the busiest day on the water uh, in Ocean City. It might be, you know, might, the air show might be competing with it nowadays because lots of people like to watch the air show, from the water but the 4th of July with weather like this is historically the busiest day on the water in and around Ocean City so we expect that a little bit later this afternoon so we're gonna try and beat the crowd a little bit maybe have some lunch uh, in one of the dockside places that we stop into and then we'll come out here and show you all the stuff that happens in and around the bay in Ocean City like these guys right now already getting pulled over <laughs> oh boy we're just leaving the marina. We're just leaving the marina and the DNR is flying up on somebody already. Here we go. We just went through the thoroughfare where there was a lot of boat traffic, some boats trying to fish. Now we're coming into the East Channel and it doesn't look too bad here. It's about lunchtime around 12 o'clock. Looks like the true story is going to be over at the sandbar. It looks like there's lots of boats already over there. All right, guys, so when you come down into the East Channel, when you're fishing in Ocean City, or you're just navigating through Ocean City on a busy day like this, the 4th of July, remember that it's going to bottleneck, right? As you come down toward the Route 50 bridge from the north, you got all kinds of area to, for boats to spread out. You can be eight, 10, 12 boats wide in some areas up there. But when you get down here to the East Channel, you're gonna be two boats wide. One boat's gonna be coming north, another boat's gonna be heading south. We are the boat that's heading south right now, and we wanna make sure that folks know that we're with the tide. The tide is actually pushing our boat. So if I were to put the boat in neutral, I'm gonna to continue to go south, whereas boats heading to the north will not. So I've got the right of way in this situation. I've got the tide pushing me, boats on the other side are under, under power, so I've got the uh, right of way here going through and it's a real pinch point coming down to where just two boats can go through the Route 50 bridge. So make sure you're wary of that, get in line, take your time, and be safe. That's the most important thing. the Ocean Princess here. The angler docks just to the north of the Ocean Princess. Looks like Ocean Princess is unloading from a half day trip. Don't forget, we got info on all that stuff. Inshore charters and party boats on the website, fishingoc.com. Check it out. Find out how to get on board with these guys. We just went through the inlet. Now we're going to go check out Harbor Side to see how busy they are. We'd like to go there for lunch when we're on the boat because it, they usually they have a bunch of slips available. They're easy to tie up. Of course, the food is really good. I recommend the Harborside Seafood Pasta. It's probably one of my favorite dishes, but we usually get that for dinner. And here we go. Here's Atlantic Tackle, one of our other favorite spots. Another one of our boats, the Miss Ocean City, looks like they're about to go out too. Well, we're pulling up to Harborside now. They look pretty busy. We're looking to see if they have an opening, but as you can see, there are a lot of slips. It is the 4th of July, so we expected them to be super busy today. We managed to get one available slip here. Coming in perfectly. Good job, Captain. Thanks. Give me a couple minutes, I'll get this thing tied up. Well, the most important thing for me, this is a tight slip, so I'm gonna stay in here, no problem. But the most important for me right now is not bashing my trolling motor apart. So I'm gonna start with this spring line that's gonna keep me from going any further forward into the dock 
or any forward to the or any further to the port where my trolling motor might get stuck underneath the dock or something like that. So I'll set that up first, and then I'll tie everything else tight so we're nice and stable on the slip. Let's eat. All right, man, inside Harborside Farm and Grill. This is one of our stops, man. West Ocean City, right on Harbor Road. Fourth of July, soon they would be packed. We're lucky to get a slip, but we'll take it, man. We're about to have an awesome lunch. Hello. Good, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. We, we said we wanted to sit close to the president of the Ocean City Marlin Club and his people. What's up, my friend? How are you? <laughs> Happy Fourth. Happy Fourth. Awesome seating here at Harborside during the summer, man. You got inside right behind you guys right now. Inside, you got the under the uh, canopy they call the deck and then they've got inside seating if you want a little air conditioning there's not as much seating in there but there is some available out here is what we prefer this is absolutely awesome man you got the deck seating actually out on the deck we're right here on the harbor there's a walkway on the other side of this um, got the ring toss game right at the end of the at the end of the dock here and then all the slips are right here we pulled in literally two slips down from where we're sitting right now and if you want to you can stay in your boat and get drinks delivered right to your boat. And don't Duh. forget too, even if you're sitting on the dock, you still have to go inside and yeah. be the hostess. So don't just have a seat. Yeah, make sure when you come in here, because if you sit down, they're not going to know who you are. Make sure you go to the hostess station and get a, get a table before you uh, start trying to order. Yeah, man. Cheers. Happy Independence Day. Thank you. Caesar salad for Kristen and shrimp tacos for me. Yep. Here we go. One shrimp taco going down. That's good. Yeah, I just took a bite of mine. It's delicious. I have some run down my face. <laughs> Three huge grilled shrimp on there, cabbage, tomatoes, secret sauce, comes with fries, that's good. see why on a busy day like today Harborside is packed. We're, we're leaving our slip and they got a boat pulling right into it. Bye guys! See you guys, enjoy! Happy 4th to you! Sorry for the interruption. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we get that all the time. We absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching Hooked on OC on TV and watching our stuff here on YouTube. Engaging with all of our social media and stuff. We really, really enjoy it. We love what we do and uh, we thank you guys for appreciating it very much. So. Um, as I was saying, man, Harborside is packed today. Fourth of July, beautiful weather. Food is awesome. Food is awesome. Kristen had the uh, grilled shrimp salad. I had the grilled shrimp tacos. They were both absolutely delicious. Sat out there underneath the uh, umbrella right there on the dock. Um, 
people were eating and drinking right in their boats. They've got wait staff that is dedicated to the people that are in there and they're sli in the slips. So it's a really great spot to stop anytime uh, that the weather cooperates, but especially during the summer season when they've got 17 boat slips out front and tons of seating inside. Thanks very much to Chris and Lloyd, Bobby, Moose, the staff over there at Harborside, man, for putting out a great product. Um, and now, let's go check out this bay. <laughs> <laughs> One last note about Harbor Side, I forgot to mention it earlier. If you go when it's not 100 degrees out like today, try the seafood bisque. It is amazing. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right, we're going to start here uh, just north of the Ocean City Airport. We're going to head north. We're going to show you how busy this is behind here, uh, right on Astigue Island. There's so many boats here. And then it's even busier on the sandbar on the other side of the Route 50 Bridge, just north of the Route 50 Bridge, man. This is crazy. Later on, if we hear of a boat crash with a jet ski, I guarantee that guy did it. Ha <laughs> hundred percent. Look at that. Reminder, uh, Assateague, you cannot just dock your or park your boat anywhere down that strip. There's certain parts of the island which are closed off because of the pipe being clover. So make sure you pay attention. You're pretty safe all the way uh, down from probably where the airport is, all the way up towards the inlet. Down south, check the beach. They will have markers out telling you that you cannot go up there. So just pay attention to that. <laughs> we're inside the six but they never disappoint all right guys so as you can see we're watching the parasail boat go underneath the channel there you're gonna we're gonna do the exact same thing this is something we do not recommend you do if you don't know the west channel because there's only certain spots that you can go through where you have enough clearance from the bottom especially on a low tide like this also there's only enough clearance for the top of your boat to get through underneath the bridge so we do not recommend navigating the west channel and as you'll see the parasail boat here he's going to make a hard left turn to get over to where he's going to be docked as soon as he gets underneath the bridge he's going to make a hard left turn just like we're going to do otherwise he's going to be hard to ground do you have all right so as you can see guys this is really tough to navigate i got a tide pushing against me so as we're coming through here we need to be real careful and then we're going to make a hard left hand turn to get over to west ocean city all right, so thankfully he's drifting by with the current. I'm gonna get on the other side of the bridge here. I'm making this hard left so I can stay in the channel, what there is of one. And then I got a good shot over here toward Hooper's Crab House and the sandbar, which you can see is absolutely packed. If you're out here on the water and you've got people that are trying to do business like those parasail operators, Make sure you give them the right of way, okay? He's trying to make money, get those people dropped off on the dock safely. And we're just out here cruising around, so make sure you give them the right of way and give them a chance to make their money while they can. the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind cause it's everything. You can mold shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything.
not yet, but we'll be back safe and sound, pulling into the marina here. Um, that, as Captain Steve Gladwin so eloquently put it, was a show. Whoa! I've been in Ocean City for 30 plus years. I don't know if I've ever seen that many boats on the water at the same time. Um, counting the boats that were actually on the water, navigable waterways behind the bays of Ocean City, um, the sandbar behind Assateague Island, the sandbar there uh, in the West Channel over by Hooper's Crab House, the east side of the sandbar, there were 150 boats or something crazy. Um, it was an absolute mess. Um, but I haven't heard of really any issues so far uh, today. We probably will at some point. There's just too many uh, ding-dongs out there. The ding-dong brigade was in its full force this afternoon. <laughs> and it's still coming, right? The fireworks don't start until you know 9.30 or 10 o'clock tonight. So I think a lot of people are going to be coming out here. Uh, the drinks are going to be flowing, and that's when all the stupidity starts to happen. But really great day so far. We had an awesome lunch at Harborside there, man. That, that food was really, really good. You agree? Yeah, it was excellent. Yeah, yeah you agree. The food was awesome. Um, we pulled right into a slip there. They have 17 slips right out front. You can get drinks and food right in your boat if you want to. Really super convenient. They do a great job over there at Harborside. Um, and then we came by and saw all that action at the sandbars, man. It was crazy packed. If you're out here today, uh, or if you're out in Ocean City any day on the water, be safe, man. You know, for, first and foremost, be smart, be safe. Uh, whoever's going to be behind the wheel, don't do a lot of drinking and stuff. It's just not smart, and those things don't uh, equate to, you know, safe boating as far as I'm concerned. But another awesome video. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We're up to 2,000 subscribers, man. We're going to keep it rolling here. We hope you enjoy what we're putting out. Don't forget, watch our, our TV show, right? Dave Messick and I put on a great TV show every Sunday morning, 7 a.m., Hooked on OC. We had tons of people yelling at us today about Hooked on OC. We're here doing this pretty much every week or two now on YouTube, just bringing you all kinds of cool stuff that we do in and around Ocean City. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have any qu questions? You know if you've asked a question, we answer it down in the comments below. And bam, here we go. Boom. I fish in OC on Instagram, fish in OC on Facebook fishingoc.com for my nightly fishing report some cool stuff to do in ocean city charter boats party boats you name it and deadly-tackle.com one guy today called me the deadly double guy so i don't <laughs> have a problem with that that's dale timmons dale timmons will always be the deadly double guy but i don't mind being called that so uh stick around for another video next time guys we appreciate you tuning in lennox out here she goes bye happy fourth everyone I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing, I'm always thankful for something